Greetings all NOCE graduates. It's an honor to speak to you today and to celebrate your success. We are so proud of you and the resilience you have shown by finishing your coursework, despite the effects of the pandemic on you, your families, our community, and our nation. We recognize the tremendous strength that it took to get to this point and applaud your phenomenal efforts. As we celebrate this moment, I want you to know that we have something in common. We are both transitioning to the next phase of our lives. You will take the next step in your career, and I will be leaving full-time work to become a part-time retiree and grandmother. I want to share a few thoughts on things I have learned over my career and life that I hope will ring true and help you take the next steps in your life. First, take the next immediate step and just keep exploring, learning, and growing. Whether you plan to continue your education, and I hope you will, or seek a promotion or find a new job, show the same passionate dedication it took to get to this point. Put your head down and work with pride on whatever is in front of you. You never know where you might end up. I never set out to be a chancellor. In fact, I was pretty miserable during my undergraduate years, changed majors multiple times, took way too many classes before I graduated, and even changed colleges before graduating. And after all that, I ended up majoring in psychology, a major that doesn't lead to a job. I worked in a pizza place for a while and was promoted into a management position where I started to learn about teamwork and leadership. I then did some career counseling where I learned about how people make choices about career paths. I finally went back to school to earn a master's degree and discovered that I loved organizational psychology. And for the first time since high school, I began to enjoy learning again. It was during my master's program that I took a risk and was hired as an intern, which meant giving up my full-time job. But it changed my life and my career trajectory. By taking this risk, I learned about giving presentations and how to do organizational development work. It was during this time that I met a department chair at Cal Poly Pomona who invited me to teach as an adjunct. I absolutely fell in love with teaching and with being an educator. Once again, I gave up a full-time job to work as a part-time instructor and did consulting on the side to make a living. For seven years, I was what is called a freeway flyer, meaning that I worked at multiple colleges as an adjunct. At that point, I thought my goal was to be a full-time faculty member, and so I started a doctoral program at USC. When I had to find a way to pay for the tuition, I left teaching, a heartbreaking choice, and took a full-time job in downtown LA, riding the train every day for two years. Near the end of my doctoral program, a job at Mount Sac opened up that was related to my studies, and I jumped at the chance to be closer to home and apply my studies. That was 20 years ago, and I've experienced the joys and thrills of working in a variety of leadership positions in three community college districts. I share these examples to illustrate two other important principles. One, take risks, and two, do what you love. You may never know what you're fully capable of until you try new things that may lead you in a direction you hadn't anticipated, and it won't be perfect. You'll make mistakes and sometimes fail, and life will happen by throwing you a curveball, like a pandemic. But every experience gives you the opportunity to learn and fall forward in both your life and career. Keep giving it everything you've got and never look back. Along the way, you will find people and jobs that you love. One of my favorite quotes is from the poet William Butler Yeats. He said, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. I hope that your time at NOCE has lit a strong fire in you and given you a yearning for more education. Take time over the coming weeks to celebrate with your friends and family, and then keep going. On behalf of the entire district, I want you to know how proud we are of you and your accomplishments. I wish you much continued success and fulfillment wherever your journey leads. Congratulations, graduates.